Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to our weekly tutorial. This is the last week uh, that I'll be featuring retiring products from the 2020-2021 catalog. Uh, we've had um, some fun times and today I picked a stamp set. I went through my box of retiring items and picked a stamp set I had not used before. So I tried to use everything that I buy and I actually found uh, two sets that I had not used. So I picked one and I'm going to pair it with the Butterfly Punch, which is also retiring, although we have lots of new butterfly dies coming, so that's exciting. Um, also, we have until May 3rd, so just a few more days to purchase from the old catalog. So if there's anything that you would like to purchase, make sure you do that by May 3rd, because May 4th, new catalog's coming. It's super great. Um, I'm very excited. I have my wish list of my top five things that I'm gonna get right off the bat. And um, I also have new product shares. I have a new in color club. So if you're interested in any of those, just let me know. Um, I've already sent out some emails about them and um, yeah, I'm excited. I love getting new in colors. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip you all upside down. I know I don't have, you know, all the technology here to, <laughs> to just move you magically. I know it's sad. You know, just we're just a little old school. Okay, here's our stamp set. We're using Butterfly Wishes. Now, I can't believe that I have not used this stamp set before. <laughs> the problem is we have so many good stamp sets. It's hard, you know, you get your favorites and then you order things and it kind of gets put in the back of the shelf and then you forget about them. Anyway, I had opened this up and had not, had not put it together or used it. So... We're gonna do three cards today, and using, of course, the Butterfly Duet Punch, um, which I believe is also retiring. And we're gonna start with simple and work our way up to a little bit more. So this is more for a beginner stamper, but it's a lot of fun for even just, just an avid stamper. It's a nice quick card. It uses, I'm using the same color scheme, same two inks, for the whole, you know, for all the projects today. So I'm starting off with just a piece of basic white and then I'm using soft suede. This was, this is my soft suede backup stamp pad. So um, I don't have two of everything, but I have two of a few things that I use. And so this is soft suede. It has not been re-inked, so it's not real dark, but that's how I want it for this one. Okay, so I'm taking this branch, the flower branch. We're going to do a monochromatic um, card today. And I'm going to put, my card's going to go landscape. So what I'm going to do is just put in a few branches of flowers here in the soft suede. Let's do maybe one coming down. Got a flower coming down there and maybe a little bit of a branch coming down. It's just kind of whatever you like. So we can move that around a little bit or you can adjust it to whatever you want to do. I'm going to clean these as I go so I don't forget. All right, now I'm going to take uh, this big butterfly. I'm going to cut this one out. This is kind of the, the butterfly where the wings are together. So let's get an extra piece of white. We're going to stamp this one here. We're going to cut that one out. And what next? Let's stamp a sentiment. I have love to celebrate you. This would also make kind of a pretty sympathy card. I'm just going to stamp that in that nice white space right there. Not completely straight, but that's okay. All right. Let's stamp one or two more butterflies. I'm going to do... Let's see if we can fit this one in. I'm gonna put my big one right here. So, I think I can fit 
squeeze that one in right there. And then I have the little teeny butterfly. We'll stick one of those guys down there. Okay. I think that's all the stamping we're gonna do. It's starting to get pretty, pretty, pretty crowded. All right, let's cut this out real quick. It's not too hard. I'm not the best cutter, but we'll see if we can do it without cutting the antenna off. All right. So it's kind of a stormy, rainy day today. I don't hear anything out right now. But it said thunderstorm, so if you start hearing craziness, let me know. You know what I did notice, though, is normally the tornado sirens go off at noon on Thursday just for testing. I don't know if that's, maybe it's just once a month. I didn't hear them go off today, probably because it's storming and people would freak out if they started hearing the tornado sirens. So either it's just once a month. If somebody knows, let me know. It could just be once a month. Okay. Almost done. Let's round that off just a bit on the end. Okay. All right, so let's assemble. We're doing monochromatic. So I'm gonna go, going to go with this crumb cake card base. Right. Then I have a piece of soft suede. Soft suede and crumb cake, love those two together. Just nice and matchy-matchy a little bit. You'll have to guess, guess what color I'm gonna, I'm gonna add for the other two cards. I'm gonna let you guess to go with our soft suede. While I'm putting this together, you guys put your, put your thoughts in, see if you get it right. Okay. Just gonna layer this on here. We're gonna pop this guy. To me, it feels like it's kind of landed on a branch. So I'm going to land him right on that branch. And let's just put, got a little bit of linen thread. We're gonna tie a little bow here. Attach that for our, our embellishment. I always feel like I need some sort of little embellishment. Let's cut this off. My paper scissors don't cut ribbon as well. Okay, and we will attach this with a glue dot. Now my glue dot's bigger than my knot, so I want, I'm just going to kind of roll this up. on my fingers to make it smaller. All right, I'm gonna just, I can't see where I'm centering, so let's just add that right here under the sentiment. And we'll put our little bow right here. I just didn't want it to cover the words. And that's it. How sweet and easy is that? Now you can also, do some Wink of Stella on here. I'm just gonna leave it monochromatic as is. But simple, quick card, one color of ink, uh, no, really no extra supplies needed. Just cut stuff, throw in a bow, and there you go. Okay, now we're gonna do something more for our, um, our casual stamper. We, uh, did you guess your color? Did you guess what color I'm gonna add? I'm gonna add Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral, Laura Diamond, if you're watching, should be very happy. This is her favorite color. Okay, so we've got basic white. Now I have used the textured, 3D textured embossing folder on this one. So I just did that ahead of time just to, for speed, speed purposes. So we're gonna adhere this, and all measurements will be posted on my blog with the supplies later after we're done. All right, 
Now, I have an espresso and then, a, or not espresso, ugh, soft suede um, cardstock right here and then a piece of basic white to layer on top. So we're just going to decorate our front first and then we're gonna do something fun for the inside. Okay, so we'll get our Calypso coral. I need to stamp a butterfly and I'm actually gonna go ahead and stamp four more for the inside. So we've got five butterflies total. All right. And then let's stamp the front. We're gonna set those aside for just a second. And we're going to stamp the, um, the branch again, but we're gonna color it a little differently. So we've got a few different coloring techniques we're gonna to use today. So I have soft suede, calypso coral, and then I think this one is pear pizzazz. So we're gonna color our, um, our branches. So I'm going to do the flowers in Calypso Coral. So you color with the side of your marker. There's a couple little flower kind of buddy things there. And then we have one big flower right here. And the trick is determining what's a flower and what's a leaf, which is not an easy thing to do. I feel like I colored in that. There we go. Hopefully, I think that's a leaf. <laughs> Hard to tell on here. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's a couple of flowers, that's a flower. Those are flowers. Uh, maybe this is like a little bud. We'll just go with that, you know. With this one, it's a little bit, a little bit touch and go. I'm just gonna call those all leaves. Okay, and then we've got a leaf here, kind of going in. A leaf, few leaves popping out of that. Some leaves here. Okay, whatever's not a leaf, we're gonna fill it in as a uh, branch. Let's see. Not really sure. Mm. It's okay. If it's not perfect, it will all look good. You'll still be able to tell what it is. So we're going to fill in with our Espresso for our branches. And I don't know, just throw a little bit of espresso in a couple other spots too. Why not? Why not? All right, so now we need to huff. I've been not doing in this in class during COVID, but I can do this at home because I'm gonna clean this. You don't wanna do this uh, in class. Okay, so let's just stamp this. Hopefully it looks like flowers and leaves and stems. Okay, that looks good, nice. All right, uh, we need a sentiment. Let's do, do we have a small, we have birthday wishes. So let's stamp that in the soft suede. See if I can fit, the, I think I might fit it up on top. Wanted to do it down there, but I think that's blocking my space. So let's just do birthday wishes near the top. Hopefully straight. Pretty good. All right. Let's clear, clean this branch off. We're gonna use that one more time. All right. Done with stamping for the moment. Let's adhere this to our soft suede. This is such just a sweet little, 
sweet little card. Okay, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back and pop this panel up. All right, right in the center. Okay, let's grab these butterflies and we're gonna quickly just do a little bit of Wink of Stella on them all. Last night I was getting my catalogs all ready. They came in. I was putting stickers on them, printing out wish lists, so I'm excited. I'll have them. I have a new catalog launch party on Saturday, and then I'll have them at our workshops later in May. Okay, I think, yeah, look at that in the light. That all looks pretty glittery. All right, let's clear a little bit of a space. And now we're gonna punch these out with our butterfly punch and just hold that upside down. I just kinda line up the head and the tail and then check and make sure everything else looks pretty, pretty even. I love punching. So quick. Just takes like a couple extra seconds to make sure your your images are all lined up and then super quick pinches they go flying all right so let's find our five butterflies and get rid of the rest of the goodies there bring our card back in so we're going to take one we're going to pop up one on the front okay and you can if you want you can kind of give it a little bit of movement by rolling the wings down and then bending them up at the body so we can add one mic that's so cute just like it is all right but we're gonna do something a little fun for the inside let's make a little pop-up card all right, now you could take just a long piece of white and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's, this was my sample I'd been working on yesterday. I just did white and then I added butterflies, but I decided to try a little bit of um, one of the retiring papers. This is Playful Patterns and it's Calypso Coral on one side polka dot. So I thought that would be fun, but I needed eight inches and this is only six inches. So I cut two pieces. They're one and a half inches tall. This one is four inches wide. This is four and a half inches wide because I had to have a little half inch panel to adhere to itself because uh, it's not long enough. So I had to make two and stick them together to make it eight inches long. Let's just stick those together and we're folding them accordion style so it looks like that okay and then we're gonna glue this in all right let's just do we'll just do a little bit of Tombow for ease so this is the back of the pattern I'm gonna glue this down right right about in the center Okay, right in the center. And this is thinner than cardstock too, so it makes your, your card a little less bulky. So I put glue on that side, and I'm just gonna close it. Give it just one second to set. Okay, so when you pull it out, you've got this fun little pop-up, little pop-up panel. Now we have our butterflies. I am going to glue them in the centers of the butterfly. So I only put glue right in the center. I'm not popping them up because when you close it, that would just make it so thick and it's not gonna close nicely. So we're just going to 
glue it right in the center. Then it still has a little bit of, you know, separation there, the butterfly from the paper. I'm gonna just kind of bend those up before I glue them. Let's glue one on this side. And I could have glued these beforehand. <laughs> it would have made it a little easier. Glued them before I stuck this in, right? But I didn't, so that's okay. Just a little glue right on the body. So each little panel is two, and a half, two inches wide by one and a half tall. So I just wanna make sure, I measured my butterfly because I wanna make sure the butterflies are within the panels. You don't want them hanging out the edge. It would be okay if they were on top, you know, wider, but because this has to close, you don't want them being folded over in the creases. And that's it. Then you can stamp a little sentiment or you have plenty of room to do your writing. Isn't that cute? See how that closes? Love that card. Okay, last card. Do it, just, we're gonna do kind of a fun fold on this one. This one has a few more pieces, as you can tell. This is more for avid crafters. So my card base, it's Calypso Coral, and it is five and a half by six and a half. No, six and three eighths. So what I did is I just cut off half of the front panel. So I cut two and an eight inches off of the front. Okay. So to, just to decorate the front, we're not going to do a lot. We're just going to put, I've got a piece of basic white and a piece of our retiring um, soft suede designer series paper. We have new patterns coming May 4th. So that's exciting. But I did have a little bit of my retiring colors left. And that's a thin little white border. And then we're going to glue this to the front panel. Okay. Very easy, no stamping on that side. Then I have a piece of white. This is just four by five and a quarter. white and stick this on the inside okay here's the fun fold part I have a piece of another piece of calypso coral and this is four inches by seven and then I scored it halfway so it's three and a half and I'm doing a backwards card now so I have a forward short card and then I have a smaller backward opening card okay all right, so I have a piece of soft suede we're gonna glue to the front. This is one with a very narrow border as well. So this is where you have an eighth of an inch difference instead of a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white, which is just an eighth inch smaller. I have two of these exactly the same. So this one goes on the inside, and then the other one we're gonna stamp before we glue it down. Okay, let's stamp. Paper's getting all wonky here. All right, so we're going to do one more coloring technique. So I'm using my branch again, and we're gonna use soft suede ink. Let's ink that up. I'm gonna have this branch kind of coming out right about there in soft suede all right then we're going to stamp our sentiment i have one that says oh it was a perfect day because of you that's sweet that's a sweet little thank you card i'm going to put that right up at the top nice and then i'm going to use this little butterfly love this butterfly but we are going to have to make him a different color stamp this on some scrap paper in Calypso Coral. We do have to cut this out. I'm going to give that a second to dry just to be safe. Okay, we're going to grab our blends. 
So I have Calypso Coral and Soft Sea Foam Blend markers. We're gonna color the flowers with Calypso Coral. I'm just using dark, just a little bit of dark in the center, kind of the center of the flowers. Just a little bit right there, not much. And then we're gonna color in with the light Calypso Coral marker. This is where you need to see really well to see what you're doing, which is what I'm struggling with. Well, I'm not sure that was a flower. <laughs> I can't see what I'm looking at. Oh, probably should have reinked it just a little bit. That feels like a flower petal. You know what, it doesn't really matter. If it's a flower, it will look like a flower. If it's not, then it won't. It'll look like a leaf. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna use the dark, the dark, um, what is this? Soft sea foam blend to color in a little bit of green color to the leaves. The light soft sea foam is pretty light, so having the darker will give a little more green tint to whatever I think might be a leaf or green, green part. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna just make it green. I feel like if my soft suede was maybe a tad darker, I'd be able to see better. Or if maybe I had reading glasses on instead of my bifocals. <laughs> we gotta laugh at ourselves, right? If we don't laugh at ourselves, everyone else will. Okay, so let's cut out this butterfly real quick. I could have used the punch butterfly too, but I just really like this one right here. Very realistic looking. A little bit smaller. Okay. Right, if I stare too long, my eyes start to cloud over. <laughs> they each start drying out. And then I really can't see. I'm not doing a good job of cutting today. Sorry about that, guys. Just pretend it's cut out nicely, okay? I have an eye appointment next week, so I think I'm gonna ask for a good pair of uh, glasses that just focus within 18 inches of my paper. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna get, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's pop up this butterfly. I gotta have something popped up here. We'll just stick him right there and a little bit of Wink of Stella. Okay. Ooh, that's coloring it in too. Nice. Always like to have a little bit of bling. And then let's do one more thing. I have some of these artistry balloons sequins, which are carrying over into the new catalog. I want to add, let's put a big one right in the middle of our big flower. And then let's put a couple of these small ones over here on these, these small flowers, just for a little more, a little more fun. Okay, and we're going to adhere this to the top of our backwards opening card. This is the one time it's okay for your card to open the wrong way. All right, now we are going to adhere this so that it's centered right on the front. Okay, right about there. So let's open that up, which is basically the middle of the card inside, but we're only putting adhesive on the back. Let's put that there. Let's center our card right in the center of here. See how that looks. 
feel like it needs to go over just a bit. I'm, I didn't put it down. I didn't do a press. So we're gonna do it a little right to the center of the card front. Okay, I'm gonna press it now. So there's no going back. Perfect, okay. So these are our three cards for today. We have this one, this one, and this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Butterfly Wishes, still available until May 3rd. Um, and then the designer paper, that may have sold out, can't guarantee it, but any soft suede, or you could use another coral, Calypso Coral one. Um, but Butterfly Punch, if it's not sold out, that is still only available through the third. I don't guarantee, I didn't look at the uh, retiring list today to see if it was sold out. I'm sure this is not, um, but I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I will see you all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.